um, it is currently about 6.15ish um, in the morning. Um, and I have just arrived at today's location, which is a river. I'm at the local river and I'm going to be photographing damselflies this morning and dragonflies maybe. Um, this area is more popular with damselflies. I don't, I've seen like the occasional dragonfly, but never... Um, never loads basically um, and I'm basically I'm gonna go stand in the river and we're gonna find some damselflies to photograph uh, all this is because on Sunday I did a course on like dragonflies and damselflies and it said that the best time of day to see them was between like 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. ish because they don't fly around um, as much as they do it during the day um, I mean you obviously you can see them during the day and you can photograph them during the day but they, they're always flying around um, and apparently 7 a.m. they're standing still uh, sleeping <laughs> so we're gonna go find out if that is true today and we're gonna take some photographs um, I do have a couple of shots that I want to get um, I want to like get a photograph of a damselfly on one side of like a reed and it's and like I'm on the other side um I'll put an example up but yeah and a couple more shots I want to get that I will talk about more when we're down there um but yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in a bit So I have now made it to the edge, the very edge of the river um, and I'm basically, because I've got my wellies on, I'm basically going to walk that way into the river and round to where the like reeds are and stuff, um, where I know the dragonflies will be resting, or damselflies I should say, will be like resting. Um, interestingly on the course, the guy that was leading it, he was from the, Dragon the Dragonfly Society, he was really good actually. Um, he said that the big dragonflies and stuff they like resting in trees um during the night which i had i like obviously they must rest somewhere but i never thought they would rest in trees um i don't know how deep the water is over there but maybe there's maybe i'll walk towards the tree i don't know um but interesting that he said that um so yeah let's go and do some damselfly and dragonfly photography <laughs> So I have now walked around to the reeds area. Um, as you can see through the reeds, or well, hopefully you can see, there is um, some damselflies. I mean, there's one on camera currently, but there is also quite a lot in this area here. Uh, so the plan works. There is damselflies to photograph and they are not flying around, which is really great. Um, I'm now gonna put my phone in my bag because I'm slightly concerned about dropping it in the river. Um, although it's not that deep, but I would prefer if my phone didn't get so soggy. Um, and we're going to get started on some damsel pie for top. photographing the damselflies for a little while now um they're all mainly the same type which is the banded damselfly um if anyone's interested 
um, my both my both my boots are now full of water because I tried to go to that smaller reed area over there and it was too deep um, so yeah now I've got wet feet and my boots are full of water which is quite fun um, but <laughs> never mind um, and I've been trying to get some interesting shots now a few of the shots I want to I wanted to try and get today um, as I mentioned in the car is one where the damselfly is on the other side of the leaf and you can kind of just see its legs and its eyes on either side of the leaf um, or reed I should say um, the problem with that here is that these reeds I don't know if you can if I hold one like this they're quite big and the damselflies aren't that big so um, if you look at a damselfly and then you try and look at it from the other side of the leaf there's, there's nothing to see um, so I'm not sure that photo is going to work. What I would also like to get is like um, uh, one with Boko in, which is like the blurred background. Um, I think I've got that one. And also I wanted, I, was, I wanted to try and like get one with me looking up at it, but I'm not sure how feasible that is because of the water. Um, and I'd rather not get my head wet um, or my camera wet, which I'm being very careful about because yeah, if I fall in, I'm going to save the camera and not myself, basically, because I can have a shower, but my camera might not recover from a trip in the river. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm trying to get. Um, I'll show you some of the damselflies in a second. Um, there's quite a lot in this like little reed bush area. Um, I don't know if I should try a different part of the river. I might try walking the other way and see if there's any reeds and stuff over there or I don't yeah I don't know how deep it gets but I I mean my feet are already wet so it probably doesn't matter anymore um but yeah maybe I'll try a different way as well oh a train there's a train going past it was there I, I missed it um so yeah that is what I'm trying to get and I will catch up with you guys in a bit oh there's a fish There is the world's smallest fish over there. I don't if I zoom in, can you see it? It's the same colour as the um like the sediment, so probably you probably can't see it. Um interestingly I have seen people fish in here. Um I don't know what they catch because I mean that's the world's smallest fish. And I can't I've never seen like a big fish in here. But people do go fishing in here, so maybe maybe I'm missing something. Okay, so damselflies in the reeds. Um, you probably can't see any at the moment, so I'll move closer. There is three, oh, you can see the wing of one there. And then there is another one there. And then further in, there's another one. Um, I'll try and move the reeds really carefully so you guys can see. Oh, there's four actually. So there's one, two, three, four. There they are. Um, being really careful not to disturb them too much, obviously. Although I imagine they would just fly away if they were really upset by the whole thing. There is also another one. Oh, you can't see him at all. Um, there is also another one there. Looking. Oh, maybe I should take a photo looking down on him, actually. That's giving me a new idea. Um, but there's another one there. And there's probably a few more that I can't see because they're actually quite I don't want to say camouflaged but hard to notice because the reeds are so thick um, so yeah there's the damselflies
about to walk back to my car, or I am walking back to my car. Um, however, I was going to walk and talk at the same time. However, every time I walk, my boo makes a really loud, um, watery, squishy noise. I don't know if you can hear that. Like, that noise. Um, because it was filled with water. Um, quite, quite a lot of water, actually. Um, like, it was almost up to the top of the boot full of full of water um but i'm really happy with the photographs i've taken this morning um it's now about half past seven ish so i haven't actually been here this long however i don't feel like i need to stay here any longer because i'm really happy with the shots i have taken already and my boot is full of water obviously and uh, so my foot's quite cold now and i'm also quite hungry so i'm actually gonna head back now however i did think i would make a part two of this video Maybe I'd probably I'm probably gonna separate them into two videos, so, but it'll be like part one and part two, um, because I think tomorrow I am gonna go to the nature reserve that I was at a few weeks ago when I did I did do a, like a summer wildlife um, dragonfly ph photography video. However, it was I filmed it in the middle of the day, be, and it was before I went on the course. Um, so now I've been on the course. I'm gonna get up at like half past five tomorrow and I'm gonna go to the other nature reserve because I think they have a like a more variety of species whereas here we've uh, I've only seen the like banded one um what well, yeah I've only seen the banded one which is quite interesting really because you'd think this is good habitat for them so there would be more of one type maybe it is only the banded ones that like the um reeds that I was next to I don't know I didn't see any others but who knows um <laughs> need to do some more reading about the course um but yeah i thought i would make a part two uh tomorrow morning um where we might go and find some different species to photograph because they're definitely in the other reserve and i've seen loads there um so it can't be that difficult to find them at 5 8, at 6 a.m as i did today um but yeah i'm really happy with some of the shots i did get i didn't manage to get a shot of one um either side of like the reed um, as I wanted because the reeds here were too big and the, the damselflies were too small and it, you just couldn't see any of it if you looked at the other side of the leaf. Um, so maybe tomorrow we will work on that in the other reserve. But I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I'm really happy with some of the photographs I got and so going out at 6am to look for dragonflies and damselflies definitely works if you're interested. Um, but I will see you all in next week's video. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, also, if you would like to uh, like this video and subscribe, please do, because I'd really like some more subscribers. Um, also, if you want to see some more of the Down Supply photography um, photographs, then go check out my Instagram as well, because there may be a couple more there. Also, on my blog, I will do like a post about, maybe after tomorrow, about um, how to go out and find them early in the morning and everything I learned on the course. So yeah, I'll link that below as well. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I will see you all next week.